must remember him as our protector and not the one who gave us this. As our savior and not our betrayer. Let us see him forever as you and not as you. All hail the conquering hero. The one who was supposed to save us all. But now I must save us from you. Hey, what is up YouTube? It's Overlord here. And today, I want to talk about the Halo 5 Guardians trailer that you guys just saw. Now, that was the Hunt for the Truth trailer with Agent Locke. There actually is another one where the situation is reversed. Chief is looming over Locke, about to shoot him, and then the trailer cuts off. I'll leave it down there in the description so you guys can see it. And with that out of the way, I want to start my little speculation. Now, a lot of people are speculating that Halo 5 will have two different campaigns. However, I don't think that's the case. Now, the reason being is because Halo 5 and Halo 4 are both trying to fall more in line with their canon, with the extended universe of Halo, and having two different endings that are technically both canon wouldn't necessarily fall in line with that. That would make things a tad bit confusing, and they would have to kind of fill something out or perhaps start off a whole nother storyline, I suppose, for Halo, and I don't necessarily see that happening. I believe that the campaign will be intertwined much like it was in Halo 2 with the Arbiter and Master Chief. I believe that for this campaign, they'll probably have it split roughly half and half of the campaign levels. Half you play as Locke, half you play as Chief, and then there will be some uh, gameplay differences in between Chief and Locke. Very slight, very minute, but they will still be there and offer different styles of gameplay. Now, in case you guys don't know what's going on in the storyline, what essentially happened after Halo 4 was Chief was going to be decommissioned. He was going to essentially retire. And instead what had happened was Chief ends up gathering the remaining Spartan 2s in blue team, which is Fred, Kelly, and Linda, and they end up going on an adventure. Now, spoiler alert, Chief and the rest of blue team run into the Didact. The Didact nearly kills them all, and then because of a monitor helping him, he ends up trapping the Didact on a piece of the ring. Uh, that falls to a planet with the didact inside or on top of it, I can't really remember which, and he ends up either burning up or dying upon impact, or perhaps just being really, really unhappy, comatose, and in a really sleepy state, and he's most likely burnt a little bit. But regardless, I personally believe that we will be seeing him either in Halo 5 Guardians campaign or in Halo 6, and he's most likely going to be very, very unhappy about the burn we gave him and I don't believe there's enough ice for said burn. Now, anyway, I believe that the UNSC in particular Oni most likely isn't happy with what happened to Chief and they aren't exactly happy about him dragging the rest of the Spartan 2s and blue team and himself willy nilly on whatever adventures he wants to when he's supposed to be, you know, in retirement. And so they're most likely sending Locke and his team of Spartans after Chief to find him. Now, uh, I personally believe that they may have construed things and made it seem like Chief is perhaps a terrorist or an enemy or he's gone AWOL and he is going to, I don't know, do something to harm the UNSC. Something along those lines and I believe that personally Locke is just kind of following orders now and I believe that most likely later on he'll end up finding out that Oni is lying and most likely help Chief but as again that's just speculation and really it's kind of up in the air right now. We really don't have very much information on Halo 5 Guardians. Now, if you guys are interested, I am going to leave the uh, trailer down in the description. Once again, it will be both of them, so you guys can go check it out. And write down in the description or the comments, excuse me, as to what your theory about Halo 5's campaign will be. This is Overlord signing out, and I will talk to you guys next time.